and I have noticed how difficult it has been for some not to want to start new again. It's very difficult for us. And matter of fact, remember in Psalms 46, the word of God says, be still and know. Well, that's the hardest level of warfare you can do. Actually, that is a warfare passage about being still so you will know the enemy's ambush and you will ambush him before he ambushes you. And we're sort of in that time right now. With me this year, the Lord told me I could come to 10 different places. You know, I think he put boundaries on all of us in a new way. And uh, so I have had to let him direct me because, you know, I get lots of requests to go places and do things. And I have never been one just to do that. So I have to really hear him say, this is one of the places that I want to draw my people together. And uh, I have been into Alabama this year. I've been to uh, Las Vegas this year. And uh, I have been to Houston this year that I knew the Lord sent me for various reasons. And then Philadelphia and Trenton. Let's thank God for these two places. And I believe there's reasons we're here. I I mean, uh, he predetermines our time and place so that we can grasp for him and find him and pull him down into our midst. And uh, for him to unfurl that banner through here and say, this will be known as the meeting of beginning again. Now, uh, we are in a very historical place here. This place was dedicated to World War I. But the thing about Trenton is, Trenton was where George Washington won his first battle. And I believe that's very significant. Now, I want you to sort of track, because <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've spoken in some places uh, recently and done a lot of things, but... Uh, on the on the web, but I, I haven't felt the prophetic anointing the way I'm feeling it right now. So that says that he brought us here to the first place that this nation really ever had a victory for a reason. And that is very, very key for us. Uh, that uh, we are now entering a time where God had together people, and you have to think about it. He didn't lift all the restrictions for us together here until last week. So for John and Cheryl and the team to step out in faith and secure this place for us together, God wanted us here tonight. So... And of course, I've seen Carolinas, I've seen Maryland, I've seen Pennsylvania. Richard Brink, I I saw you first in uh, Maine, and you hosted Dutch and I, and there's something the Lord brought you back here for tonight, because one of the ways I saw that unfurl, it was over you. And the Lord said, this is a time of beginning again. And so you're going to have to go back and look. Now, when the Lord says that, remember time is a circle. So you're going to have to look at where you were two years ago. You're going to have to look at the warfare you were in two years ago. And now that he brought you here. Then we're going to have to go further and look back to how this place was built in 1930 in the midst and dedicated in the midst of the Depression. So he's beginning to bring us back there again. And, uh, and we want to understand that for God to say it, he already knows how we're going to get into our next future. So I, I want you to be thinking like that because that was something very vivid and very historical about tonight. And uh, so we want to go back and... Again, 
move forward. And I believe he brought us here to initiate that tonight. Now, with that, let me show you a few things, and then I want us to go back and worship because there's such an anointing here. And uh, I'm like, uh, Cheryl, it, in the midst of you hearing and experiencing what God's doing, be sure to give so we can help them accomplish their purpose and uh, move forward here. Now, we have to remember we are living in a new era. Everybody say new era. Yeah. That means we're back in history again for the future. Now, that's what new era really talks about. It talks about I am bringing you into a time sequence so that a histor historical things will happen and it will cause you to advance. And so really, we're in a historical 10 years here that is redefining the world. And this era, remember, including this year, is about the voice that's within you. So I see what the Lord did was he brought us aside for the last two years to reform our voice. And therefore, our voice being reformed will loose reformation. And I have noticed how difficult it has been for some not to want to start new again. It's very difficult for us. And matter of fact, remember in Psalms 46, the word of God says, be still and know. Well, that's the hardest level of warfare you can do. Actually, that is a warfare passage about being still so you will know the enemy's ambush and you will Im ambush him before he ambushes you. And we're sort of in that time right now.